Now that we have Ring Central, I'm going to show you how you can make video calls with this. And this works really well for conferences because one, you have a breakout room, which is really, really perfect because parents cannot just jump into your conference. You have to let them in, kind of like Zoom was back in COVID when we had access to that. And number two, you don't need an app. You don't need any software. The, the people joining your group can join right from their web browser. It's super easy. So honestly, this is even easier than Meet or Zoom altogether, and we have a lot more features. So first thing you have to do is open up your Ring Central app that's on your computer or the website. I'm using the website right here or the app on your phone. It doesn't matter where you're at. You can do all of this. Mine are a little organized in a different way, but on the left-hand side over here, you'll see video. Click on the video button. And then you can start an immediate meeting. That's fine. Or you can schedule. And I'm just going to show you how to schedule because there's more steps. If I click start, basically, I just start my meeting. So let's say I'm doing it for conferences or something. I would hit the schedule button. And then you name it. Set your time, I'll make it 10 a.m. today. Duration, it really doesn't matter because once you're in, it's gonna be in the whole time. But let's say it's conferences, I'm gonna leave it open for 12 hours, it doesn't matter. Mine's connected to my Google Calendar, so it makes it really easy. I can go back into my calendar and find the link easily. To me, that's very easy. Mine's synced, if yours isn't synced, that's fine too. Scroll down a little bit, I just change my required password to my last name just in case um, I have yet to need to use it. So I'm not real sure why it's there, but anyhow. I do leave participants can only join after me. So someone's not trying to be in early on some other day, they'll get a notification that the meeting hasn't started yet and won't be able to get in. You definitely want enable the waiting room. You want this on. And you might have to change this to anyone outside my company. Um, I would just leave it to everyone. It doesn't really matter. And then scroll on down and hit the schedule. Mine, because it's tied to Google Calendar, opened up a Google Calendar tab. And then I'm just going to save it. The beauty of this is my link's already in there. And then all my information, if I want to send it, is there. I can just do it right from my Google Calendar. Once again, if it's not set to your calendar, that's fine. You don't have to worry about it. All right, then I'm going to go back to Ring Central, And then here is my conference meeting, the one I just set. So when it's time for your meeting, kind of like we did with Zoom, this used to be the um, upcoming section. So here's your upcoming, your past meetings. And you can even have recordings. That's the other beauty of this. But um, I'm just going to click my upcoming meetings. Here's my conference meeting. I'm going to click join. And then down here, I'm going to start my video. So there I am. I'm in my meeting. Now here's the good thing. You still have all these little options about background effects and video quality. Um, you can choose which microphone you're using. Really, this is a lot like Zoom. I can share my screen. Um, you can even create a whiteboard, which is really cool. So all of this is very similar to Zoom. The good news is we also have breakout rooms and I can record this entire meeting. So I can keep this backed up somewhere if I needed to or whatever reason. We used to have that ability with Zoom, um, but that got taken away and the, you have to do the paid program for that. So here I am, I'm in my meeting, and I want to invite a parent, and I totally forgot to send it to them. Let's say I can just click the little I over here, and I can get my meeting link, and then I can text it or email it or however I want to get it to my parent. So what you'll get is this little notification when someone joins. So this is the waiting room. And then they get on their screen that they're just waiting to come in. So when I hit the admit button, I'm letting them in.
And I'm going to continue with internet audio. Yeah. I am going to turn my mute on. And I'm going to turn my camera on. And then there we are. So now I have my meeting going, no software installed, using the browser on their phone or their computer, whatever they're using. And you're getting your meeting, all with a waiting room. Super easy. Now, all of these features, I'm going to go ahead and leave. There we go are very similar to Zoom. So they're easy to use, um, things that you will actually have good um, luck with. The chat button, just like Zoom. You got reactions, just like Zoom. You have a breakout room, so if you want to use this with your students, you can, and you can do groups. Um, so anyhow, really easy to use, and we have all the paid goodies. So take advantage of it. Great way to do if you have to have video conferences or anything like that, we now have the breakout room. That's a huge improvement. Hope that helps.